poverty plagued China for thousands of years. Through generations of struggle, the country had lifted 700 million out of penury since 1949. By 2012, China still had nearly 100 million people living under the poverty line, one-ninth of the world's total. 100,000 of China's villages had yet to be connected by paved roads. Some 4,000 villages had no access to electricity. Millions of farmers lived in deplorable conditions. In November 2012, Xi Jinping became China's top leader. He inherited a mission China had striven to achieve for generations, eradicating abject poverty. The World Bank data shows that the total number of impoverished Chinese declined by nearly 680 million people in the last three decades. China's Communist Party promising to end rural poverty by 2020. There was just eight years left for Xi to deliver on the promise of stamping out indigence. It's a very ambitious program. Una meta como esta requería crecer, sacar de la pobreza por año alrededor de 10 millones de personas. Cada minuto tenía que sacar 20 pobres de la pobreza este mundo. It's almost a mission impossible. While the entire nation held their breath waiting for his answer, Xi's commitment to this insurmountable task was never in question. He knew what it was like to be hungry. From a junior local official to China's top leader, Xi always held dear the wish he had made. Ensuring the rural poor improved their lot has been his motivation all along. 全面建成小康社会, 一个也不能少共同富裕路上一个也不能掉队 By the end of 2012, she braved the ghastly winter temperatures to visit Lao Wan in the northern province of Hebei. Lao Wan was one of the country's most underprivileged mountain villages. 一个亿左右的绝对贫困人口,难度还是很大的。救人总书记后啊,要到扶贫县去,到老百姓家里去,是他自己提的。the meagerness of wealth in Lotowan village was beyond Xi's belief, with tens of thousands of rural families still living in similar condition. He knew there was no time to spare. Reviewing the whole situation, she determined that China had entered the most difficult stage of relieving penury, and every household's root cause for destitution need to be found before any precise help. It was during a visit to Shibadong village in Hunan province that he proposed a targeted approach to poverty alleviation. In an effort to meticulously tackle impoverishment in various locations, the authorities need to have the full grasp of the real conditions. Therefore, China launched an unprecedented project on compiling a database of every single underprivileged. In 18 months, China had a complete nationwide register of its poor population, the first time in history that an all-encompassing poverty database had been compiled. Precision poverty targeting is supporting the government in targeting the remaining poor in the last mile. And I think that is the systematic approach that other parts of the world would require, including my own part, which is Africa. 
In November 2015, she led a conference on poverty alleviation and development, the largest of its kind ever held. She too had nothing to fall back on. By 2013, some 128,000 villages classed as poor had been included in the nationwide poverty database. She mobilized the entire system to help the rural indigent. While they have made transcendental changes for those in dire need of help, 1,800 of them even lost their lives in the line of duty. To uncover the root causes of underdevelopment and advise on solutions, she pushed on unabated with inspection tours, visiting some of the poorest places in China. These tours have resulted in a variety of poverty reduction approaches designed to be the most effective for a specific areas. This is Liangshan, a living metaphor of how difficult it could be for the country to struggle for a poverty-free ideal. It is locked in rough, unforgiving mountain terrain. The altitude difference from the foot of the mountain to the mountaintop cliff village is nearly 1,000 meters. A precarious vine ladder was once the only way villagers could leave the village. On February 11, 2018, she traveled 2,200 kilometers from Beijing to Liangshan to review plans for the relocation communities. <laughs> Two years later, all 344 of the Cliff Village's former residents left the village in the clouds, moved down to earth, bidding farewell to their deplorable houses. The villagers moved to brand new apartments, Children resume their study in bright classrooms without their former unfathomable cliff trail journey to class. Tourism is now a mainstay. The village sees over 100,000 visitors every year, generating momentous income for the locals. Penury is history. Just like the cliff village, many fortuneless villages are undergoing momentous changes. The fact that China has been able to move hundreds of millions of people out of poverty. So this is the most important contribution. It is difficult to uh, recall or to identify any parallel achievement. And I think these are major and, and very credible achievements, and certainly in my own travels. At the end of 2019, China's rural underprivileged population had reduced to 5.51 million. An end to poverty was within reach. Early 2020, the sudden outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic wreaked havoc on China and the world. For the first time in 30 years, poverty is rising. It's totally understandable, possible the agenda. While most people assumed China's goal to lift all its people out of poverty by 2020 would take a back seat, she took a tougher path. In March 2020, she presided over an unusual symposium attended by officials ranging from country leaders to local magistrates. When this meeting was 
，你做工作没有时间了，来不及了。时间只有三百天了，所以必须尽快召开这个会议来进行再部署、再动员。徐总书记说这个话的时候，脸上我感觉还是比较凝重的。二零二零年财政的收支形势确实较为严峻。总书记明确指出，资金投入是保障。中央财政的专项扶贫资金不降反增，达到了一千四百六十一亿元。一次性的脱贫攻坚补短板的资金三百亿元。His decision recharged the campaign, and the whole of society played their part. 中央财Rural clinics and doctors are prevalent. Every rural household is connected to the power grid, and modern appliances are no longer just the property of richer households. Ninety-eight percent of all formerly undeveloped regions have internet access. Rural residents are now connected to the outside world with a brilliant new life to show for it. More than 100,000 countryside schools have been renovated or rebuilt, providing tens of thousands of rural children with a chance to carve an alternative future. Yunnan State's last Chinese Civil Defense Force is the last Chinese Civil Defense Force. This means that the whole state is all in place. Over eight years, the population of rural villages has been reduced by one million. 人民对美好生活的向往，就是我们的奋斗目标。China have ended the poverty that plagued the country for thousands of years. But it merely marks another beginning, the beginning of more miracles yet to be worked, and a path toward even brighter outlooks ahead.